Hey y'all, just want to give you one last tour of our tiny house is in place at the lake. Here's the Indigo Go. 24 foot by eight and a half. It's a lower roof line, so it's for easier towing. Of course, we got our standard utility closet on the outside there with the uh, cedar trim, custom work, custom woodwork there. I'll give you the view. So you can, we'll be putting this on Airbnb. So you can rent. We're gonna, we'll be building a deck right here in front of the front door and then going out into the front of the lake. You can see the sunsets on that side of the house. So it's nice and shady over here in the afternoon. So here it is, we got our kitchen first. Plenty of storage space. And then we've got this extra pull out for just a little extra countertop space for chopping vegetables or whatever. And then I think the, oh, I can't kick the toe kick drawers <laughs> while I'm filming. So here's our kitchen. We've got a um, combo microwave and um, convection oven. So you can you have a regular oven or microwave. And then we've got this little coffee maker and toaster oven. And then we've got a, a hot plate. So if you wanna cook something on a stove top. This kind of has, this has this neat little, you can fry an egg and stuff on that. But if, if you want to cook something in a regular pan, we got a hot plate too. So our standard sink with the inserts. And then we'll check out the bathroom. So of course the standard pocket door and then we got a nice little space for the water closet and plenty of storage for towels and such. And then obscured glass in the bathroom. Well, we're gonna add some more hooks and stuff. And then the bathtub. So it's a full size soaking tub, super deep, big enough to Straighten out your legs, and then we did the stone and tile work. So this has the God's eye pattern. We kind of repeated that from that exterior. So shower as well. We'll get the shower curtain up. So you can take a shower or bath. Plenty of space. We'll put more hooks here so you can... And then the lighted makeup mirror. Nice size vanity. And then here's the rest of the house. So it's just a 24 footer, nice and small. It'll sleep three. This uh, is a day bed with, with a pretty comfortable cushion there. We had that made for that space. It's, it's just barely smaller than a twin sizes. We couldn't do a regular mattress, but it's just a couple inch, inches. Uh, or like an inch on each side. So storage drawers underneath the built-in sofa bed. And then you just move those pillows out of the way and we've got sheets to go on that. And then a queen size pop-up storage bed. Let's see if I can lift it up with one hand. So lots of storage space underneath there. You can put bins, you know, so you can access your stuff easier. It's pretty easy to lift up and down. It stays up <laughs> once it's up. And then a hang hanging space in the wardrobe plus some drawers and a nightstand. Nice little fan, the oscillates. And then we have a table. There's a two-top table that goes under this window, but the carpenter had to make a change. So we'll bring bringing that out here. And then those chairs go 
under the table and then the table can fold out to a four top and you can have two sitting on the couch and then the two chairs on the other side so you can have four eat at that table. And then the TV folds or comes down so you can have it out of the way of the beautiful view of the lake or you can pull it down when it's time to watch TV. So there's our Indiegogo, 24 footer, all one level, short, so it's easier to tow. I'll show you the, there's my daddy here for a visit. That's our neighbor and here's our view. And then the Luan is our neighbor on the other side. The Luan tiny house is right next door. So some friends can rent the Luan. That one sleeps four to six. Um, I, as long as she has a pullout sofa, I think she has a pullout sofa in there. And then there's plenty other, there's empty spaces. You can rent an RV and bring it out here or bring your own RV, or you can just rent a tiny house or an RV that's already out here. So the sun's going down. Let's see if I can, nice. So there's the rest of the, looks like, I don't know, maybe not half full, but we've got a lot of tiny houses out here now. You can see a bunch down there. So there's the back of the Indiegogo. And we're about to head back to Dallas. Thanks for watching.